Hello guys, Ivan Kiwi is here and welcome to Shark Numbers. In today's video, I will show you how trading bots work. What I'm going to show you is how futures grid type of bots work. And um, the entire video will be about this kind of bots. So the main difference between spot grid and futures grid, this bot allows you to set it up in the way so that it multiplies your income if set up correctly by trading both directions by going long and going short also your futures wallet is linked to futures grid bot i hope it makes sense if you don't know how binance futures work and um, the difference between spot and futures please check out my previous videos i specifically explained the main difference between spot and futures so this kind of bot is linked to your wallet associated with your Binance Futures account. I hope it all makes sense. So before we begin setting up the bot, let's take a look at the market. This is what I want to see for my bot to work well. I will dive deep into all the details a little bit later. I want to take a look at the 24 hour change. I want to pick a volatile asset. And once again, I'll touch upon this subject a little bit later. I typically pay close attention to this section and whatever is pumping, I like it. All right, so I'm going to pick this asset, Anna USDT. I have no idea what it is, but it doesn't really matter. All I want to see is volatility. All right, so let's begin. I'm going to click on trade now. Here you can see the difference between long, short, and neutral types of bots. I tried all of them and I can tell you that I do not use long or short bots in my opinion. They do not work well. I'd rather set up my own positions if I believe the market is gonna go up and there are plenty of automation and semi-automation tools offered by Binance. So I don't need a bot for that. A bot is really awesome if you want to trade both directions if you think the market kind of stabilizes and you believe that a chart is going to look like this right so the price is moving sideways right so what i hope to see is that the asset that i'm picking right now had a pump and now it's going to form a sort of a form of triangle and if i believe that the price is going to move sideways at least for a little bit i'm going to set up this neutral bot and i'll show you how i'm doing it but once again i would not use this kind of bot for long only long positions or only short positions it doesn't work well in my opinion Anyway, I'm gonna click on next, set up a bot. Well, basically you can see that all these descriptions, number of grids, number of grid lines, I'm going to explain all that in just a while, run a bot. So you see, this is exactly what I just explained. When the price drops and hits the buy order, the bot will place a sell order. One grid up from the current Greed. When the price rises and hits the sell order, the bot will place a buy order one grid down from the current grid. So we will set up the range. And so basically we will want the price to go up and down, up and down. So we can trade both directions and open long and short positions by using our bot. Close bot. I'll teach you how to do it. Let's click on start trading. Oh, there looks like there is a new feature that's now available. Trailing up is now available. Maybe it's a useful feature, but I'm not going to explain how it works in this tutorial. Maybe I'll create another tutorial for that. Who knows? Okay, let's click on OK and try to set it up. So whatever you see on this sidebar, it's something that's been set up by other users. And you could try to copy, but I would not recommend this because when you copy, you don't even know how your bot works. You don't even know where those grids are. You basically, it's kind of like gambling and you want to avoid gambling as much as possible. I would not recommend using AI. If you want to set up your own bot, have a strategy in place and just use this manual section. Once again, you can trade the way you want. I'm simply sharing what I would do. Before I begin trading, I will find this pair and a USDT on TradingView. And make sure you pick the correct pair. If you use spot, then pick spot. In my case, I am using futures here on 
trading you it's called perpetual contract prices slightly differ on each of those charts i want to make sure that i am picking the right chart all right this is what i believe i believe that we have solid level of support and resistance this is our level of resistance and this would be our level of support how i discovered that i'm using the 1000x indicator if you're interested to purchase that indicator check out the link in the description this would be my bottom price and this would be my top price and those additional lines that i drew would be my stop loss lines now i'm going to measure the distance from this bottom line to the top line it's 21 percent i don't want the distance between my grids to be too narrow or too wide again the more trades i execute the better but i don't want the distance between the closest grids to be less than one percent simply because i don't want to pay too much in fees again i don't want it to be like five percent or three percent but i want it to be maybe like one point one percent maybe one percent all right so i would say i want to have in between these two lines i want to have around 18 grids all right it's 21.5 percent so 18 grids will be slightly over than one percent but again it will vary because i'll explain in just a second so let me first show you how i set up the bot and then i'll explain why the distance between the bottom two lines and the top two lines will be slightly different so you your gain here will be less than your gain here. Let me talk more about it in just a while. By default, I pick this multiplier 20x. I've tested different kinds of multipliers and for this particular bot, for the neutral bot, 20x is ideal. Plus with this kind of multiplier, you can deposit a smaller amount. Let me set everything up and show you how I do it. So the bottom price is 0.894. The upper border is 1.086. And once again, I said that I want to have 8 grids all right so this is what it's going to look like i hope it makes sense to you so the difference between geometric and arithmetic is basically if you pick arithmetic visually the gap between each of the lines is the same but the percentage is different if you measure it on the chart you'll notice that here you have maybe like 0.8 percent and here you have one point something percent whereas geometric makes the lines look kind of a little bit different so the gap seems a little bit narrower here and a little bit wider here but if you measure the percentage the percentage is actually the same i hope it makes sense if you don't believe me go and measure everything here on the chart i'm going to set it up as arithmetic and i will replicate all of these grids on the chart and then we'll measure the distance between each of the grids together now i want to set up stop trigger i have stop loss and I suggest that you do the same so you don't go broke. My stop loss at the bottom would be 0.883 and my stop loss at the top would be 1.098. Here you'll be able to see the minimum amount you're allowed to deposit. The more grids you have, the more money you'll have to deposit. Let's say if I increase it to 169 grids, then the amount is growing, right? But for this kind of scenario and for this kind of multiplier, I can can deposit as as little as seven dollars for the sake of this tutorial i'll use let's say twenty dollars all right so everything is set up i have my stop loss i have my grids the upper border and the, the lower border set up 18 grids let me click on create and i'm going to replicate everything that you see right now everything that you see here on the trading view chart so create before we confirm all of this we have an opportunity need to check the details of the bot i'm going to click on confirm and boom the grid is running so here is one thing that i'd like to share with you the money for this grid is pulled from the futures account so if we check the futures account we'll see that the available balance is now lower we won't see the money used for the bot the money gets returned back once you close everything so if we click on this end or if one of these stop loss lines get crossed and the bot stops working then the money the remaining balance will return back to our futures wallet so again the money pulled out of the futures wallet is 
kind of held by the bot and reserved for the purposes of the future's bot working correctly. You close the bot once you click on end or whatever. So your stop loss is triggered, the mining gets returned back. It takes a little bit of time, maybe a couple of minutes. So don't freak out if you click on end and you don't see the money returned back to your wallet. It takes a little bit of time, but it works well and everything is fine. So I am going to take a look at this bot while we are waiting for the first trade to be executed. Let's replicate all of the lines on the chart so we can see exactly how it's all working. View details. 9360. All right, so, so this is what our bot looks like. It took me a little bit of time to draw everything on the chart, but this is exactly what our bot looks like. And so remember, I explained the difference between arithmetic and geometric. By default, we had the arithmetic option chosen, and you can see the difference. At the bottom, our profit would be 1.18%. The distance between the two lines, the closest lines is 1.18% and at the top it's less, it's 1.09. And you know, if you have more grids, then this difference becomes even more significant. Okay, you see I'm dragging this tool up and the distance can be, you know, as short as 0.72% and at the bottom it's two or 3%. Whereas geometric kind of looks a little bit different. So the at the bottom, the gap gets a little bit narrower and at the top it's wider, but the distance is the same. Same. Tricky, right? So you can play with the measurement tool and see for yourself. It's exactly how it works. So I'm going to give this bot a little bit of time and I'll get back as soon as the first order is executed. And while I'm waiting, I want to once again remind you what we want to see. We don't want the price to go down like that. And we don't want the price to go up like that. What we want to see is we want the price to go up and down in this kind of manner so that we can execute more orders. We are trading. The bot is opening long and short orders. The expectation here is that the price is going to move sideways after a major pump or a major dump. The asset, the price of our asset is expected to move kind of sideways so that we can execute a bunch of short orders and a bunch of long orders and make profit. And if the price doesn't move sideways, we're going to lose money. All right. So let's hope that at least a couple of orders will get executed and we meet our expectations. The asset meets our expectations, the development of it. While I'm still waiting for my first order to be executed, I want to mention that I'm using the 1000x indicator and take a look how nicely the indicator works with this particular asset. Each of these zones, most of the bearish and bullish zones were detected precisely and it's just awesome to see how the indicator works with this particular asset. This bearish cycle was detected precisely and we're currently in the bullish cycle locally, right? So I expect this price to go slightly up before this trend reverses, but let's wait and see. All right, guys. So it looks like we made a little bit of a profit, 38 cents. We had two orders got successfully executed. So I believe we had, we started around this line and then the price went up. We opened short order. We closed that short order, but on the way up, we probably had, oh yeah, look, we had one long order. We touched this line. Then we had one short order. Anyway, so this is what we have. Had. We still have one order open, which is our sell order. Profit realized PL is 0.38 cents. So we managed to execute two trades successfully, and one we managed, and then one order is still open. I already clicked on end to end the bot. There are a lot of interesting metrics. If you take a look at this, you'll see annualized yield. So basically, it says hypothetically how much money you would make if you continue trading this successfully for the entire year. Year. So there are a lot of interesting data points, a lot of interesting metrics, which you can explore and see. But yeah, this is basically how the bot works. Uh, this is how you close the bot. You click on end and it takes a little bit of time for the bot to return money back to your futures wallet, as I mentioned previously. So don't freak out if you don't get your money right away. Just wait for about a minute or so and you will see everything back. And so this is what we have. Our total profit is 0.38 USDT. How do we measure this? Well, I had 18 grids. I used 20 USDT 
for my bot. So this is the formula. We take 20 USDT divided by 18, right? And we have slightly over $1. We multiply this by about 1%, right? Because it's it's a little bit more here, a little bit, a little bit more at the bottom, a little bit less at the top. So in our case, it would be 1% percent multiplied by 20 because i am trading at 20x i'm using the 20x multiplier and so this is what we have if you have more greeds and higher balance you this will be your the number of your greeds here you can use uh, your total balance and basically this will be your gap in between greeds and this will be your multiplier. I hope it makes sense. All in all, it's extremely self-explanatory. It's super easy to use this kind of bot and it won't take you too much time to kind of get used to the flow. It's a lot easier than just using trading tools. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If I forgot to mention something, if you want me to review another type of bot, leave your comments in the comment section. Anything that I mentioned in this video, if I mentioned some previous videos or something else, please find relevant links in the description. I'm done for now. I'll talk to you soon. Ivan KV out.